Hi everyone. So I'm Anton and I represent HP Financial Services in South Africa. We see and read about this and we hear about it on the radio and in talk shows all the time. Customers and consumers with this very sudden switch to more digital, they have high demand and it's all shaped by their experiences, the digital experiences. So businesses must continue to innovate to respond to those demands or they risk losing customers to competitors in this very dynamic and turbulent market. And that's because digital technology dramatically improves efficiencies, economics, and the capabilities of most businesses. So the disruption and the threat of disruption, I think is motivating us all to reinvent ourselves continuously in order to succeed. So digital transformation is about accelerating innovation and a big part of that speed will come from the way technology is consumed and delivered. The most overlooked aspect of IT digital transformation is the economics. How do you fund your transformation to get started? And how can you optimize your infrastructure to uncover new cost savings? In a perfect world, the function of IT would essentially be a very agile provider of service outcomes rather than the owner of physical infrastructure. The data center as we know it is dead. IT infrastructure will be everywhere and it already is. The result is a much more distributed and externalized world than what we are used to. What many IT leaders are discovering is that while this newer world may appear more agile to the business, and it should, it is in fact more complex and difficult to manage and to change than traditional infrastructures. By 2023, over half of all infrastructure spending by IT buyers will be on infrastructure as a service. And by 2024, over 75% of infrastructure in edge locations will be consumed or operated via an as-a-service model. That's more than 50% of everything in the data center. So it's clear from this that the role of the CRO has evolved drastically from being someone involved in technology decisions into someone that needs to wear a financial hat probably more often than they're wearing a technology hat. And then, of course, the management of assets. Most businesses are stuck with legacy assets. They don't know what to do with them, where to go with them. Do they still have any value? Can they transition them into a pay-for-use model or not? Where do you draw the line? And then, of course, whatever we do today and tomorrow is going to affect the future, the longer-term 36 to 60-month outlook of an organization. So the decisions that organizations make right now in terms of financial adaptability will affect the digital transformation journeys and link to that their success over the next three to five to 10 years and beyond.